Sandcrawler here, and I want to show you Seth Bling's tumbler lock. And we need a little bit of gravel. And so, uh, with this lock, you put in the gravel. It pushes it up on this tower. And then when you enter the right combination using the gravel to push the sand up, it'll open the door. See, now the door opened. If any one of these is off, the door will close. And if one is too high, like we put, it'll close until you uh, fix the height. So yeah, that's how it works. Let's take a look. So this is what's underneath here. This is what pushes the gravel and sand up. And so when we put a block there, it'll activate and push it up. You can see this one is a little buggy. This is on a multiplayer server. And this is the timing that I found. Uh, that he, that Seth Bling used in his video. And this is the timing that I adjusted. I added a three tick delay to it. And I found that it works a lot more reliable this way. You see we haven't had a hang up yet. Now it's full, I, I believe, yeah. So that's one component of it. This is the base. I'll show you how to build this here in a little bit. But it's not too complicated, as you can see. Now over here we have the top part. This is what actually turn, opens the door turns it on and off and place a piston here so we can see what it's doing okay so we're gonna take a look at this component now this is what determines if the door is gonna open or close or if the lock uh, peg is correct or incorrect so this would be incorrect and it would shut the door uh, if you add one more then it's correct and the door opens and this would be closed again because it's it would be too high so right there is the only time you know if you go higher it, it's not gonna matter it's gonna shut the, shut it off or open the door again so only at this level will it uh, be open. So if you lower this, then it's it'll go off. Uh, it's pretty simple. It just uses the redstone repeaters to pass through the block and turn this torch off. Or if it's too high, then it's powered by this torch through the block. So, this is, let me just go down here and reset this. There's not an easy way to reset it. You just have to take out the gravel pieces. So now we'll go up to the top. So as you can see, this one needs one piece to turn on. So now this lock is correct and it passes through to here. 
This one needs two to be correct. Torch is off. Three. This one will need four. And then five. And now the piston's opened. And so that's how you'd set it, is you would just bring your thing down. You can go down to six or seven. So it needs seven pieces now to open. So, let me find a bed and I'll sleep in it. And then I'll show you how to build the top part and the bottom. I'm going to show you how to build them as separate components and then you can scale that up to five like I did and I believe that's how many Seth Bling used or you could have many more than that. So, get our wool back. I just marked it out already but you want to have a space between each one of these uh, pushers. So we'll just build this up one. You could build it down, but you need a torch here and then a repeater. You set this repeater to three tick delay. And then you need two pieces of redstone. And you put a block there on the end torch there and you need a repeater here and then a normal piston goes on the bottom facing up and then the sticky piston you can place right on the front of this torch and it goes facing towards you so now if we test it out it'll push the sand or gravel up It'll actually work with any block, but of course sand and gravel are the only blocks that have physics, so the other blocks don't fall down. And so we can just repeat that there. We build this up one. It's this kind of L shape. Put a torch here, repeater. Repeater set to three. Two redstone dust here. Block. Torch. Repeater there. Then a piston facing up, a normal piston. And a sticky piston. So how this works is the the redstone signal from this torch passes through this block which shuts off this torch which pulls the sand back and then this uh, lower piston gets power and pushes the sand up causing you to have a stack of it I like to take it off of the top, otherwise it'll destroy sand. I just want to fill these up so they're as high as they can go. And this is on a server, so uh, that's why it's kind of laggy. But I wanted to show that it does work on a server. So now we need to build this uh, detection system that turns it on or off depending on what's where the block height is. So we want to start down here. Need a repeater there to start off and a torch. Now we need two blocks here with uh, redstone on it. Redstone dust. And that goes into a block with a torch on top of it. 
that it should always be off if if there's a block built up. Now this is the uh, one that shuts it off if it's too high, so it turns the or closes the pistons, or you could invert it to close the door or power whatever you wanted to hook it up to. So that is done pretty much the same way. You need a torch, a repeater. And then you just dust this whole top here. Or actually, I don't believe you want dust there. Yeah. You want another repeater here so it doesn't connect to that one. So now, even though this block is powered, which shuts the torch off, this line is still lit because it's getting power through this block. So if we take that away, it'll uh, turn off. So it turned the redstone signal off, and if we take that away, then it uh, all turns off. So now we're just going to build this on these other two. You want to make sure you do it at the right height. Or so we need a repeater there. This can just be dust. Dust there. Torch there. Torch here. Then a repeater there to pass through that block. In there, and then, assuming you want more than one combination, because you could use it with just one, but that's you'd only have to input one, uh, one lock basically. You'll want to tie these together if you want more than one, and that's you just do it just like that so now you know we'll just test it out so if we take those that yep torch will toggle off take them both out it'll turn back on if even one of them is just is wrong it'll be off or it'll the redstone will be lit that's why you use the torch like this So we'll just do this one more time here. So right now it's all powered by these torches in this line here because all of these torches are off so if we take these blocks off then they'll all be off you know so now the lines off and the torches are off and if we make it one lower then they'll all be on or you know we could just take one block out we take that one out the wall the dust will turn back on so we want it set at that height so we know where to start at and just 
get some gravel. So we're going to set this one to three. So I just took out three of the blocks, and then four. Then I'll just do one. So now if we go down here, we'll add three gravel blocks. Four gravel blocks. And then one gravel block. And our redstone line should be deactivated. Uh, you could hook this up to just about anything. I'll just put a piston here. So it does work. So if we take the gravel out. That piston will be open. And then just put it back. And that piston closes. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's a pretty simple design. Um, I made a couple changes to it. In Seth Bling's design, he has a torch um, powering each one of these sections, but I don't know, I couldn't figure out how he did it, and I didn't worry about it too much. Because if you just put a torch here, and it works just as well to power it all the way through here. Um, if we go inside here, I made another little change. Let me just go. I added a uh, ladder here, because if you went down in there before without the ladder, you can't really jump out. Well, you can't jump out unless you can fly. And so I wanted to be able to climb back out if I fell down there. And I also, if you place gravel or something up here, when there's no nothing there blocking it, if you place too many pieces, you can uh, cause it to jam up. I'll try and show you. Yeah, I think that did it. Basically, it, it, if it gets a constant current, then it just sits in one state. And it won't go up. And so, by adding the ladder, it makes it so you can only place one block in there at a time. So you can't place two or three up high. And uh, cause it to jam up like this. I think that's probably a lot to do with this being on multiplayer more than anything. Because it's pretty laggy right now. And it just sometimes there's display bugs. So, yeah, that's the design and how you build it. Uh, you know, you could do anything you wanted with this. You could even expand it to be more than just one row. You could make it five or six rows and five or six long and have it uh, connected to a big piston door or sand door or whatever. Uh, your main limitation 
because you're probably going to want to have a cover over it so you don't want to have too much exposed you need that block empty there so you can place the gravel in and so if you cover it then you're going to want to have a roof because well, who wants to look at that and then you can see how many blocks you need to place in it if you don't have a roof so if you do a too high roof then you're down to six blocks I believe okay so you could have up to eight blocks if you do a two high roof seven if you do a three high roof and still not be able to see out you know the hole or the top of the pig and so that's probably the biggest limitation and of course that's because pistons can only push up thirteen I think is what they are I could be wrong but they can only push up so high and so you're limited by the pistons so yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, you know I hope it helped you when you tried to build it and I hope I explained everything so yeah, thanks for watching.